Okay, so first up, our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Squid's Day Off, an episode all about Squidward taking a day off of work and making SpongeBob do all of the hard work. You get to run the cash register. Cash register. Squidward, who's gonna work the grill? You are. It's part of the promotion I mentioned earlier. You're gonna take the orders, then you're gonna make them. <laughs> Now the first mistake in this episode is pretty bad, as during this scene, take a look at Squidward's neck. I don't like your tone. I'm sure you are. How's that? Just do your jobs. Aye aye, Mr. Tentacles. Yeah, normally Squidward's neck is like the same color as his skin, so definitely a mistake. And I've got another one, as take a look at this. SpongeBob, stop ringing this bell. I was just testing it. I will ring the bell when there's an order, but there's no customers. Here, take a close look as Squidward's legs are like transparent. It's like the animators forgot to color them in and it looks really bad. Oh, and there's actually a third one in this episode as take a look at the emergency sign at the hospital. Yeah, they spelt it wrong. Okay, Mr. Krabs. Get plenty of rest, and if things don't seem right, come back. <laughs> SpongeBob, you can't beat me! <laughs> Our first set of mistakes can be found in the iconic and very nostalgic episode, SB129. For those who don't remember this episode, just take a look at some of these scenes and you'll like instantly remember it. It is a classic. On to the mistakes. So this first one, I'm going to play a clip and see if you guys can catch the mistake on your own. Comment it if you do. Ah, uh, it is Sunday morning in Bikini Bottom, and it is about time for Squidward to practice his clarinet. So get your earplugs ready. I think I'll treat Bikini Bottom to some real music. <laughs> Did you catch it? Well, this is how SpongeBob's house normally looks. It's looked like this since the show's first ever season. It has two windows, right? We've covered mistakes like this in the past, but this one's completely new, by the way. Well, in this scene of SB129, what's going on with SpongeBob's house? It only has one window, which is a very lazy mistake. And that ain't even it for this episode. I've got another mistake, but let's see if you guys can catch it on your own first. No, I'm not ready. I'll never be ready. Don't you get it? Sure we do. <laughs> Ready? Shouldn't you be at work today, SpongeBob? But it's Sunday. The Krusty Krab is closed. Hold on a second. I'll be right out. Hello? This one is very sneaky. So this is how SpongeBob normally looks. He has a red tie. Remember this, it's red. It's always been red. But in this one shot where Squidward sneaks away to the Krusty Krab, um, why is SpongeBob's tie black? That's a mistake. The episode Sailor Mouth is a classic episode. Like, if you haven't seen this episode, go watch it. It's so good. This is mainly due to the plot, where SpongeBob is introduced to swear words. Here, take a look. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash. <coughs> mm, dumpster writing, the voice of the people. Hmm, what's this one? Crabs is a... Huh? Crabs is a... Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, sometimes, but not recently. Nah, -uh, not that word. That word. Now, due to SpongeBob not knowing that these new words are swear words, he goes to work and just begins to swear in front of customers. And this is where we can find our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Hello, customers. Nice day we're having, huh? And don't forget to ask us to. It'll be our 
Pleasure. Yeah, so when we first see this family of octopus, we can see this little guy over here. And as you can see, he's wearing like a red hat. But as the scene progresses, his hat magically changes to blue. At first it was red, and now it's blue. The mistakes in this episode don't end here, as at the end of the episode, Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob and Patrick trouble for using their swear words. And as you can see, Mr. Krabs stubs his foot right here. But if you look, the foot that he's holding and like soothing is the wrong foot. When he stubbed his foot, he stubbed this one. As punishment for foul in the air in me restaurant with your foul words, you're gonna give the Krusty Krab a fresh coat of paint from top to bottom. Wow! But then the foot that he's holding is his left foot. Oh my foot! What? Jesus just brought a rock in a bath! Can't just say I got a foot in! Definitely a mistake there, he's holding the wrong foot, you didn't even stub that toe, dude. Now I'm going to move on to the next mistake, but take a look at these clips from the episode, they're hilarious. <gasps> We're gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs! No, please, not my mommy! Mama Krabs! Well, hello there. Mama Krabs, he's dead, he's dead. I guess you scallywags have earned a glass of lemonade. Yow! My foot! Mother! Okay, so this next one's really funny as there's two very obvious mistakes in one scene. Let's take a look at this first one. It has to do with SpongeBob's shirt. And I mean, where does it all go? You know what I mean? What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Um, not just gas? No! Your axe! <laughs> Did you catch it? Well, SpongeBob's missing the white part of his shirt. It's just all brown. Normally, SpongeBob looks like this. He has a white shirt, as you guys already know. But in this one shot, he looks like this. Now, here's the question, though. Did you guys catch the other mistake in this scene? Well, let's take a look at Incidental 40. As you can see, he's wearing a white shirt. What smells rotten? And puts people to sleep. But then when he tries to diss or burn SpongeBob with his weak insults, he's now shirtless. Um, not just gas? No! Your act! <laughs> So the animators, they like drew him with a shirt and then seconds later removed his shirt? Talk about a weird mistake. Let's move on. Gary the Snail is a very cute and honestly harmless pet, right? Well, that's what I thought until I seen the episode once bitten. Take a look at this. Hey, SpongeBob. Keep your shell vermin off of my property! You leave me no choice but to call snail control! That little monster! <laughs> he bit me! Gary! No, dirty boy, this isn't like you! You mean your pet hasn't been vaccinated for mad snail disease? The bite from that infected snail will turn you into a zombie! <laughs> Yeah, in this episode, Gary is wildin'. And this scene is where we can find our first mistake in this episode. It has to do with this old lady. I want you guys to watch these clips and see if you can spot the mistake on your own. I'm a zombie, here to die on your squishy yellow flag. Okay, so this one's pretty simple. As you can see, this nice old lady right here is wearing a purple dress. It actually looks pretty nice on her. But literally seconds later, and her dress has magically changed from purple to a green dress, thus making for some lazy continuity errors right here. Of course though, that ain't it. I have another one, take a look at these clips, and let's see if you can spot the mistake, let's go. All those people think you're a monster, but I know you're just a snail. <gasps> Gary, how could you? 
SpongeBob's been infected by his own pet snail. Oh, the irony! Yeah, this one is very straightforward, but SpongeBob is missing his legs. You can tell by the angle that his legs just were not drawn, which was a very lazy move by the animators. Not a big deal, but pretty lazy. The episode, That Sinking Feeling, is a really weird episode with a very strange plot, where Squidward makes it that SpongeBob and Patrick can't hang out outside, so they build like tunnels. Here, take a look, it's really weird. And nobody! Pen hair! SpongeBob! Patrick! What are we gonna do? Hmm, have we ever dug a tunnel between our two houses? No. Poor Squidward, he loses his house thanks to Spongebob and Patrick, but he's out to get them in this next scene. But there's also a mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch this mistake on your own. I'll admit, this one is really hard to catch, but take a look at SpongeBob's sleeve. It's supposed to be white, like this, but in this one shot, it's like transparent or see-through, like the animators were too lazy to color it in. The other mistake is just as bad as boom. Where's Patrick's mouth? It's just gone. Stop playing. In my yard! Oh, we're not playing in your yard, Squidward. We're playing in our yards. Now I'm going to move on to the next mistake, which is crazy by the way, so stay tuned. But here's a funny clip of how this episode ends. It's hilarious. Another beautiful day under Bikini Bottom. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Bossy Boots, but let's just get right into it as it's kind of complicated. So during this scene, as you can see, there is this car in the background, okay? It's there. <laughs> 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 Now, as the scene progresses and Pearl and SpongeBob leave the shot, that car that we just seen disappears. It's a shame old man crab sold the crusty crab. Hey lady, do you know where we can get something to eat around here? That's it. I quit. <laughs> It didn't drive away because it happens in like seconds. It seems the animators drew it, as you can see here, but then forgot to include it in the next shot, thus giving us a weird mistake. And hey, that ain't it, as during this scene, we have another mistake. So as you can see, in this picture of a sea unicorn, the sea unicorn has a horn on its head. You can see it right here. Reduces stress for only five easy payments to $9.95. Mr. Krabs, Pearl is ruining the Krusty Krabs! But for some reason, later on in the shot, the horn just disappears during this shot. Pearl is saving the Krusty Krabs! What would we do without these beautiful $20 sea unicorn wall hangers? The animators just forgot to draw it again, thus making for another really weird mistake. Like, geez, this episode is full of mistakes, and guys, I've got some crazier ones coming up, so stay tuned. Next up, I have two Gary the Snail themed mistakes. They're pretty bad. I have no idea how the animators missed them. Let's take a look at this first one and see if you guys can spot it. Now, Gary, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Or the medium way. Or the semi-medium easy hard way. Or the sort of hard with a touch of awkward, easy, difficult, challenging way. So that's how you wanna play it, huh? It's new toy! Fetch! Huh? New boomerang pet ball really works. This one is interesting, especially because it happens really fast. But as most of you guys know, this is how Gary's eyes look. They're red. They're beautiful. Gary has some beautiful eyes, but they're red, okay, as you can see right here. But for one frame in this shot, 
Gary's eyes are purple and they look really weird. I have no idea how the animators made this mistake because it's for one frame, but it's pretty bad. And there's more. Let's see if you guys can catch it. So if I can't get you to come to the bath, I'll just have to bring the bath to you. Gary. Bath delivery. This one is a lot less complex. Pretty much, normally Gary's eyelids look like this. They're like the same color as the stems of his eyes. They're like blue or purplish. But in the episode Gary takes a bath, there's one scene where his eyelids are pink, which is a massive mistake that's not right. So yeah, another mistake. Gary. Bath delivery. Next up, we have the episode Dying for Pie, a really good episode that unfortunately has two mistakes. The first mistake has to do with Squidward, and it happens at the ending of the episode. You need to see it in slow motion for you to really catch it, but take a look. You want me to explode? Yes, that's what I've been waiting for. Okay, I'll try. So as you just seen, a piece of Squidward's head gets cut off. Like I said, you need to see it in slow motion, but look, it's just missing. There's a chunk of his head just cut off. Now to be honest, the other mistake isn't too bad, but it's still a mistake. Now at the beginning of the episode, we see Squidward arrive at work, and look, something's missing. Normally, the chum bucket is across the street from the Krusty Krab, as you can see in this shot, and there's even a little path. But in this episode's opening shot, the path and the chum bucket are gone. Next up is the iconic and very nostalgic episode, The Great Fry Cook Games. An episode where we learn about, well, obviously, the Fry Cook Games, an event where Plankton and Mr. Krabs have been rivals for a very long time. But the real story is the bitter rivalry between former competitors Mr. Krabs of the Krusty Krab and Plankton of the Chum Bucket. Who could forget the year Mr. Krabs won gold for this 500 pickle clean and jerk? Yeah. Oh, when Plankton won the hearts of millions by performing this perfect onion ring routine with a broken antenna. <laughs> The episode really gets interesting though, when we learn that this year, Spongebob is going to represent Mr. Krabs, and that Plankton has somebody that's going to represent him. It's a shocker. Take a look. Ready or not, here he comes. Quake with fear, you mortal fools. This huge guy who's carrying the real contestant, Patrick Star. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, cause you're gonna eat my dust. <laughs> I've eaten my own dust. Not if I eat it first. Yellow pig. Man, it's sad to see my two favorite cartoon characters fighting, and things get crazy in this scene, but this is also where we can find our first mistake in this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot it first, though. Yeah, so it happens really fast, but for one frame, boom, Patrick is missing his mouth. Another mistake that is very similar can also be found earlier on in the episode, and it has to do with Plankton, as for one frame, our favorite green villain is also missing his mouth. That's two mouth mistakes in one episode, damn. Look at him, in his prime. You ain't got no chance. That's where you're wrong, Krabs. For I too have a champion! The opening of the episode Big Pink Loser has a massive mistake. It's really bad, but it's easy to miss. Take a look. Let's see if you guys catch it. Hold still, Gary. Almost done. 
See for yourself. For outstanding achievement and achievement. So here's the thing. Patrick is supposed to come through that door, and we even hear the door open, but as you can see in the slow motion footage, the door never opens. <laughs> Patrick just pops in, he just spawns in randomly and knocks over the house of cards. Like seriously, listen to it again and listen for the door opening. They put a door opening sound in, but then didn't animate the door opening. It's really funny. Hold still, Gary. Wow. Almost done. The other mistake is just as bad. Here, take a look. It was sure nice of Mr. Krebs to give me a job. And at $50 an hour, too. When I started working here, I had to pay Mr. Krebs $100 an hour. Do I get my award yet? You have to work for it, remember? Dude, what happened to Patrick's mouth? It's just gone. The animators just forgot to draw his mouth for a frame, and it looks really weird. Next up, I've got three mistakes revolving around signs in the Krusty Krab, and these are complicated guys, so listen closely. So as I mentioned earlier, in the Krusty Krab, there is the Galley Grub menu, the menu with all of the different food items. There's also an Order Here sign, okay? But these have major errors throughout the episode. Let's see if you can catch the Order Here one. Can I have a job application? I brought my own spatula. I called earlier, but I hung up because I was nervous. Do you have references? Wait, if that was you on the phone and you on the bus, who was flickering the lights? <laughs> Nosferatu. Yeah, the animators definitely need to work on their spelling, as they spell order here as order H-E-A-R. And the spelling mistakes don't end there. So Galley Grub is supposed to be spelled as G-A-L-L-E-Y-G-R-U-B. Remember this. But take a look at this shot. Where it'll be closing time, right? About now, eight o'clock. So long, suckers. I've got a hot date with a little lady, and her name is Clarinet. As you've seen, it's misspelt as G-A-L-L-Y grub, missing the E. And it's misspelt again in this shot. Yes, you and me together for hours and hours and hours, and then the sun will come up, and it'll be tomorrow, and we'll still be working. Are you ready? The Rock Squidward! No. Good, cause we've got customers! Yeah. Please hit me as hard as you can. With it being spelt as G-A-L-L-A-Y, grub. Another spelling mistake, so pretty funny, but let's move on to another mistake that's even crazier. One of my favorite season two episodes is Procrastination, an episode where SpongeBob needs to write an essay, but the dude just cannot focus. He just cannot get any work done. Gee, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob! It should be against the law to have to write an essay on such a super sailorific, sunshiny day. Now, this episode has two really funny mistakes. Now, the first one has to do with SpongeBob's face. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Pants! You get back here this instant! Pants! Um, where is SpongeBob's mouth? It's just missing. I think he needs his mouth. Now the other isn't as bad, but let's see if you can catch this one. It has to do with SpongeBob's pants, more specifically his belt. Uh, I'm joking. Why? <laughs> One. Yeah, like I said, not that big of a deal, but Spongebob's belt is supposed to be all black, but one of the parts of his belt is white. Not that big of a deal, but still a mistake. Now I wonder, what would happen if Plankton and Mr. Krabs switched places? As we've seen in the last episode, they're bitter rivals. So it's interesting to see this happen in the Algae's Always Greener, where they switch places and Plankton is now the owner of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Oh, dear, no. 
Neptune above. Huh? What's this? Huh? I'm in the Krusty Krab. Then that means the light switcher was a success! The Krusty Krab is mine! Now this episode has two mistakes in particular. Let's see this scene first, and as always, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake without my help. Holographic meatloaf again! When am I gonna get some real food? Mr. Krabs gets to eat real food? Just look at his daughter! She's as big as a whale! Then why don't you just use that switch lives just to know what it's like a microfire thing in Belt last Tuesday? Your parents must have been, like, part computer or something. Uh. Now, let's see here. No. 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 Aha! This one is really hidden, but during the bubble transition, look. The word Spongebob, like text, can be seen on screen, which was definitely an editing error. It looks really weird. And we have another one. As take a look at this scene, again, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake. It has to do with Squidward. So what do you want me to do about it? I'd like my view to be a little less yellow. Hope you like gray. Hey Squidward, I can see you through this little window. We've covered similar mistakes like this in the past, but as most of you know, Squidward is a squid, so he's supposed to have multiple legs. I believe it's six legs, but in this one shot, our boy only has two legs, which is 100% a mistake. Now that's probably going to do it for today's video, guys, but I just wanna give a shout out to the Grapple Gang. I love you guys, you guys are awesome, and an even bigger shout out to the Premiere Gang, anybody here at the live premiere. Some people think this is a live stream, guys, it's not, it's a live premiere. So yeah, shout out to the Premiere Gang. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video, so if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond, it's that simple. Anyways though, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys again soon. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more SpongeBob content. Peace.